at here as so we have the whole crew at the Quadmon. That's what we call it. Gresh in the quad. Taylor, Rosie, and uh, here we go. All right, let's start with this. Do this. Does this New England Patriots team play up to competition or down to competition? Obviously, the Cowboys come in with a better record. Gresh, let's start with you. Have you seen? Have you noticed this this se this season? Oh, absolutely. I think it's fair to bring up, considering the way they played up against Tampa Bay and then the way they played down against the Houston Texans. And the one thing, Maury, that you can't you have to take into account is the injury situation. We know it was massive across the offensive line last week. But right now, they feel like a team that rides the wave up against the group they're playing, which is not a good sign. Yeah, I think this is similar to the Bucks game. The defense will step up when they have to. Plus, they have a win from the Texans heading into this week. So that's a huge game changer for the Patriots. They need that kind of morale in the locker room to get them going. And me and Gresh were talking about this last week, but that energy is so important, and especially with the fans and how much hype there was around that Tom Brady matchup. I think this one, with a lot of Dallas fans we know around the country, there's going to be a big crowd in the stands, and I think this one is also going to bring that same energy. Yeah, second time in three years the Cowboys are here. It usually only happens once every eight so a lot of Cowboys fans have an opportunity to see their team a little bit more than they normally do where does Dak Prescott rank on the quarterback list in the NFL Taylor let's start with you obviously I think a lot of people around here would take Tom Brady first maybe mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes but is he in that top four or five quarterbacks in your mind I think he's taken a big leap this year, obviously coming off of the injury. I think he's a great quarterback. I'm a big Dak Prescott fan. I don't think he's there yet. I don't think he's in that category of Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. But I think he could be there, and I think he's getting there, and we'll see what he does. I mean, this team is great. We'll see what they do, especially in the, the playoffs this year. Gresh was kind of talking about this earlier with the injuries, but he's really made a statement this season after coming off of that horrific season-ending injury, which is huge for someone to come back from that. We've seen a lot of quarterbacks not be the same so I think he ranks pretty high I think he's been pretty impressive um, you know after what he went through last last season Gresh he ain't no top five let's get that out of the way right now I think he is in the top 10 but in the lower part of the top 10 and for me what really is next for Dak Prescott is if he wants to take the next leap he's got to have some playoff success or at least play well enough even if his team loses but no, in terms of Brady, Rodgers, Mahomes, guys like that, he ain't there. All right, so the Cowboys dominated in the 1990s. The Patriots had two decades worth of dominance. But we saw the numbers right before we went to break. It's pretty even across the board when you look at everything. But whose success is better in your eyes, Gresh? Well, you know, with the Cowboys, it was in a different era of time. You got to remember that in the 70s, when you drafted guys, uh, you kept them. Even into the 90s, once Jimmy Johnson got ushered out of there because of the massive ego of Jerry Jones, they were just getting into free agency. So to me, it's New England because the variables were something that the Cowboys never had to manage. I think just because maybe we're all millennials here, I've always thought of the Patriots being just one of the most dominant teams in the NFLs, right? We weren't really around for the 90s when, the, when Dallas was pretty successful. So to me, I think the consistency of the Patriots is what proves to them to be more successful. It kind of reminds me of the Yankee Red Sox debate. We talk about all the championships the Yankees have won, but really in the more recent times, it's been the Red Sox. So that's kind of the way the Patriots have been with the Cowboys. All right, quickly here, I want to get everyone's thoughts. Does a win today change the perception for the rest of the year? If you beat Dallas, is it like, okay, then you can beat the Browns, you can beat the Titans, you can beat the Colts, or does a loss still, still mean the same thing? Ugh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. That's a tough question. It's a good question. I don't think it changes a lot. Yeah, I don't think so either. Gresh? I think a loss still, I mean, you, you beat Dallas, you turn around, lose to the Jets, people are still screaming. All right. Three and four they would be, but if they can beat the Cowboys, it'll be two straight, then you got the Jets.